What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Richard and I'm the guy in the red suit. We are going to continue with one shot and last time we got to the library and we need our library card to get to George. Her. George, the library head chef or something, so we know where to continue our journey. Um, yeah, so we need to find something. Um, let's continue our journey. So, maybe something up here. Oh, see selling library cards. Evening news, evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No? Oh? Newspapers are for grown ups. Grown ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Uh, aren't you a kid? I'm a robot. Right. Alrighty. I think I'm missing something. Maybe he can send me something. You're right. Ah, oh, Messiah, perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Richard. After all, Richard helped me get this far. I will take a faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Okay. goes back up to the catwalks. We'll need to press the button only if we wanna hang back up. How uh, if we wanna go back up? Do I wanna go back up? I don't think so. So yeah, let's get back into this alley again. Because I think we could probably find something here. It's a faded flyer. Faded flyer again. Ooh, what's this? A curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram. Okay. That's weird. What's down here? Ooh. It's strangely warm in this room. Oh, cats. Cat, are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your head is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You're still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Richard to guide me. I see. Hmm. This was my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh. It's a nice surprise. A uh, purpose. Yeah. You look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Richard and I got stuff to do. I see. Okay, weird as robots. I think I went inside here, right? Did I? Ooh, there's this red glowing. A jar full of red glowing fluid. Can I? Those squares again. Oh, 
Okay. What's up here? Oh. A fox. Whoa. Richard, did you see that fox just now? He just ran behind the tree. I'm sorry if you are looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. Dot dot dot. But. Can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh. What do you mean by that? No reply. There's no one here. Okay. She said I have to return. Uh. That's weird. Okay, let's get back there. And check the right side. Oh, there's this guy. Hey, isn't that... Uh, oh, goodness gracious, did the messiah and literally God himself just break into my house? Oh, was that your... You heard me? It keeps happening. Sorry about breaking into your house. We didn't actually break anything, but... Richard said I should take these plastic discs for some reason. Should we put them back? It's okay, keep them. I wouldn't have been able to fix that machine anyway. Um. Thanks for taking them off my hands, I guess. The lenses, that is. The scientists wanted me to use them to fix the camera in the photo booth, but you can imagine how that went. I'm just glad I didn't break anything. A street lamp. This one seems taller than the others. Water bill? Well, good luck. Okay, I can't. Okay. Oh, this is an entrance. Is there something to the right, maybe? No. Okay. <laughs> I did not get that. It looks like a wall with an open window. Let's check inside. It didn't do anything. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out from it. It's an empty rectangular slot. Looks like something could fit in here. Okay, thick lens. Yes. Okay. Let's try the convex lens. Concave. And, oops. And the Finlands. I guess it wasn't the right combination, Richard. Okay, let's try. Let's start with the Finn one. It didn't do anything. Okay, I have to put all of them inside.
Ooh, I did it. Wow. Let's take a photo of myself. Uh, cheese? Ouch, my eyes. I hope that's my pass for the library. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Okay. Richard, and I fixed the camera. Oh, sweet. Okay. Thought you maybe gonna help me. Well, good luck. Okay, what to do next? So I got my photo. I think I need something to get some kind of pass. Let's get down here, because we've never been there, I guess. Okay, what's awaiting here? What's this? I wanna check this area before I go inside something. Okay, door to the left, door to the right, and door to the center. Another facility. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The, huh? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Yellow. Zero lights correct. Access denied. Nine tries left. So let's um, check if this is. Blue. Ah, okay, so this is uh, like this game. Um, how to do this? I've played this in my childhood. This was really funny because there was a strategy behind this. What's the name of this game? Okay, so I looked it up and it was Mastermind, so zero colors correct when it was yellow. So it has to be blue, green or red. Um, how to solve this the best way? Let's make everything blue. Check how many they are. And then make them... I don't know, no. Two lights correct. Access denied, eight tries left. Okay, so... Two blue. One light correct, one green. And, of course, two red. So let's try those two blue. This one green, two red. Two lights correct. Okay, let's make those blue two lights correct okay so this one may be green two lights correct okay so this is indeed blue this must be red let's try this red two lights correct shit Okay, let's make this red and this blue, I guess. Three lights correct. Two tries left, okay. Um, like this, maybe? Two lights correct, shit. Like this? Three lights correct. Zero tries left. Intruder detected. Resetting lock mechanism. Okay, so now the game restarts. Two lights correct. Oh, it's it's with yellow, so maybe this was an easy part. So two lights correct, um, which means blue, blue, blue. Three lights correct. That's good. Green, green. 
two lights. Okay, so let's keep this here and make this green. That's okay, so this may be blue, this may be red, and this may also be red. One light. Okay, I do suck at this. I think I have to write this down. Let's reset. Um, I gotta find some paper. Isn't it in Mastermind when it tells you there is uh, one at the wrong position, so it may be easier? <coughs> okay, let's start over. Everything is yellow. Let's make everything blue. Two blue. Okay, that's pretty helpful. So if I make everything green, I know if one of them is green or red. So it's no green, so it's one red. So, which is pretty helpful because now I can actually check if those two are the yellow ones. One of them is correct, okay. Let's make this green again. Let's check it like this. So that's okay. So I know this is yellow. So. I know this is yellow. And I know this one has to be yellow or this one has to be yellow. So let's make... I got one... How many tries do I have left? Because afterwards I only need to find the red one. Two lights correct. Four tries left. Okay, so I need to find the red one. Three lights correct. Okay, and those are the blue ones. That must be it. Five lights correct. Great. Access granted. Nice. Wasn't that hard. Okay, let's get inside this faculty. Oh no! A robot! What happened? I don't know. I left for a minute and... Uh, please, please, please do not approach. Okay, I'm not gonna approach. Um, where do I need to go? Maybe inside here? What? This looks exactly the same. Okay, let's get inside here. Hmm, I wonder what the order would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. What's this? Nothing, okay. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. Okay. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all the energy? Is there a door? Yes, there is. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from scare particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them usually, uh, unless they have a death wish. But if we are lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs. Or head. Okay. This is so tedious. I missed the good old days before a robot repairing robots broke down. Now all these robots have to be assembled by actual people. But, aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? 
Not really. But your head is a TV. What does that have to do with anything? Never mind. Okay. Okay, I get it now. Let's go further. Hello? Ooh, who is she? Oh, shoot! If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darned look. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Richard helped me solve it. Did they know? Uh, no. So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get the library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I need to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? Ha! That sounds like George, alright. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Oh. Uh, wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, it was a joke. Who knows, maybe you will get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worse comes to worse, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. And I know exactly what to do. I can't combine them. What? Why? Something is poking out from this shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, um, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Oh, thank you. Uh, but now I can do this. The back of the photo is covered in glue and glitter. So let's put our face on the library card. The card has my face on it now. Nice. Let's show up my success. Oh, I see you put your own photo on there. Does that mean your name is Kip now? That was a joke. Thank you. Hey, Richard. Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Yeah, let's ask her. Oh, I see you. Um, let's ask her. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind, it's actually really pretty. Ha, ah, I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like without the sun? Uh, with the sun? Oh. Uh. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I have actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher. All I do is stay here and build robots. They are the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was cause the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of the land of land started collapsing and the access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason he really don't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Uh, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah. Okay, so let's get back to the library. I can't travel inside here. Can I travel now? Yes. Um, to the library we go. 
And before we are going to show our ID, we are going to end this episode of One Shot right here. If you enjoyed this one, give it a like. And as always, tell a friend about the guy in the red suit. Yeah.